you know, you talked about giving chemotherapy uh, that often doesn't work, and this this change in, in thought process about how we think of cancer has to change. Is that maybe the area has to start? Is 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 what education is being given to the doctors? Uh, it's going to have to start in many different fields. First of all, it would be a freedom in healthcare. I mean, right now what we have is a bizarre hybrid a bastard between capitalism and government controls. We don't. We have the worst of both worlds uh, in the sense that, uh, take a look at the niche of healthcare of plastic surgery. Uh, over the past 20 years, plastic surgery has dropped their cost by 90% and improved their quality by 500%. And the reason is because it's not regulated as much by the insurance industry. So yes, you have to be a board certified physician and you have to do you know, all the quality care, but it, plastic surgery is not reimbursable uh, under health insurance standards. Mm -hmm. And therefore, it's the customer pays for it. And therefore, we have all of the good things that come along with competition and capitalism and a free market system in plastic surgery. You look at the rest of healthcare, including cancer treatment, we have none of the, the, the good stuff and most of the bad stuff. So, the customer is detached from the actual transaction. Uh, it's inefficient, illogical, inhumane, uh, and soon we will find out that we can't afford it.